Saggy ball. <laughs> <laughs> is Waxadale good nowadays or is DJI significantly better? Um, if I have to answer that question as asked, I would say DJI is better. Obviously, the real question is more nuanced. Um, a lot of people are nervous about DJI as a company. Things to like privacy and political leanings. Waxdale also is a Chinese company, but hey, I'm not here to tell you, you know, how to live your life. Um, certainly DJI has a history of doing things that make some people question uh, whether their information is as secure as they would like it to be. Um, and Waxdale doesn't have a history of doing that that we know of. Waxnail uh, has some features that DJI has missing or is slower to implement, like custom fonts in the OSD. Waxnail is just a little more quick moving and in tune with what the FPV community wants. And DJI may be, there may be like one guy in DJI who's super in tune, but it's a big company and that guy doesn't actually have the ability to get things done quickly because big companies tend not to get things done quickly most of the time. Um, and Waxnail has like a 1S video transmitter that DJI, you can put on a, on a whoop and DJI doesn't have that. There's a few things going on, but in terms of pure hardware quality and link quality, who makes the best goggles with the best uh, video link, the best resolution, range, penetration? I feel like DJI, DJI edges out Waxnail on the goggles, but only by like, you know, that much. And then DJI with the O3 and and the V2, frankly, in my opinion, edges out Waxnail in the video link by some margin. So Waxnail, I would say this. Waxnail is good. Waxnail is way better than they were a year ago-ish when they first launched. But DJI is still better. Unless you care about one of the like five or six things that Waxnail does that DJI doesn't do, right? Waxnail is totally a contender though. 